Eva Welch says she's seen this happen before. A hospital treats a homeless person and then releases them with nowhere to go. There's just holes in the safety nets. I, I don't know. I don't know how this could be going on. She's with Street Angels, a homeless advocacy group. She received these pictures on Monday afternoon showing a homeless man sitting on the sidewalk just outside Aurora Sinai wearing a hospital gown and sweatpants. You don't roll them to a corner and just dump them off half dry. Welch says before she spoke with the VP of operations on the phone, she actually came down here to the hospital on Monday to get some answers. I went down there, I went up to the administration office and I basically demanded a meeting. Aurora Health released a statement saying, quote, it is clear our protocols and values were not followed and we're deeply troubled by this. We're taking this matter very seriously and have suspended the individuals involved pending an investigation. I'm glad that the hospital has recognized that this is not right. Shelly Saracen also works with Street Angels and says she came into contact with this man just a couple of weeks ago. He was brought into our warming station at like five o'clock in the morning. Welch and Saracen don't know where he is now, but they hope they can find him and help him soon. And Tim now joins us live from outside Aurora Sinai Medical Center. Tim, any additional word from the hospital tonight? Well, Joyce, the hospital said Aurora Healthcare has said to us in a written statement they are working now to make sure this type of thing never happens again. They also say they are creating a task force to ensure that all their patients, especially the most vulnerable, are released safely. And again, the employees involved are suspended pending an investigation. Tim Elliott reporting live.